I listened to this introductory tape and I knew then and there, this is what I needed. I felt just so much better knowing there are a bunch of people out there suffering like I am. I'm not kidding you. I think after the first tape, I knew, okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be fine. I got such relief from the very, from the very beginning, of starting the program. I was so excited for the tapes. I couldn't wait for them to come. Each one of those tapes that I listened to in that program had a purpose. As I went through the program, gradually each one fit together. It's a whole life-changing program. They get half of what I got out of this program, they're going to have a much happier life. It was fun. I really loved doing the program. I loved learning about myself. It was just amazing. Hi, I'm Lucinda Bassett, and thank you for making what may be one of the most important decisions of your life. Now, in the next few minutes, you're going to learn five essential ways to feel better fast simply by watching this tape. This tape is packed full of tips and techniques designed to help you calm down and begin to regain control of your life and your anxiety. Now, it's very important for you to watch this short tape in its entirety before you do another thing. I know you're tempted, but watch this tape first. You won't regret it. All you need to do right now is grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Now, probably the first thing you're asking yourself as you look through this program is, oh my gosh, this is overwhelming. Am I ever going to get through all of this? Look at all these tapes and this workbook and these little cards. I know it seems overwhelming right now, but trust me, hundreds of thousands of people just like you have been helped by this program. All right, now we all know that we overanalyze everything. It's just the way we are. But don't try to overanalyze what's going on in this program right now. Instead, Follow the easy step-by-step -step directions on the tapes and in the workbook and you'll see incredible changes in your life pretty quickly. The main goal of this program is discovery. That is discovering what's really going on in your life and in your mind and then using the tools that we provide you with to gain control over those things that are preventing you from living your life to its fullest. You already know that the Attacking Anxiety and Depression program is fully guaranteed. So relax. The only thing you have to lose is your anxiety. When you use the program as directed, you'll defeat the anxiety and panic attacks and depression that you've been feeling possibly for years. And you'll join the hundreds of thousands of people who feel alive again and in control again after years of suffering. Of course, not everybody's wired the same way. And for some of you, just opening this package may have taken all the courage you could muster up. Well, what I have to say to you is this. The level of inner strength that you're going to gain by going through this program is going to amaze you. First, let's do an exercise together that I like to call the personal priority check. You'll need to get that paper and pencil out right about now. Now, first, what I want you to do is list in order of their importance from top to bottom your most pressing priorities and goals, both short-term and long-term, that you have for yourself and your life over the next year. Now, take a few minutes here, so pause the tape right here while you're doing this exercise, and then once you're all done, turn the tape back on. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. Got your list out? I hope you've listed your priorities right in front of you. Now let me ask you a question. Did you include going through the Attacking Anxiety and Depression program as one of your top priorities? Well, if you did, then you obviously have your priorities in the perfect order. But if you didn't include the program as a top priority, then I'm going to ask you to do one more thing for me. Time for a reality check. Now look at your list again. But this time, put a great big check mark next to each priority or goal that is impaired in some way or another by your stress, your lack of confidence, your anxiety or overthinking or overanalyzing or your panic attacks or depression. If you've checked any or possibly all of these priorities, then it makes logical sense that completing this program with us should become priority number one. Now here's a tip for success. Once you've started the program, you must go step by step, lesson by lesson. Don't tell yourself that you have to try to master each individual lesson or let yourself get stuck in one session because you don't feel you did it perfectly. That's what we do, we're perfectionists. Just keep moving week by week. Digest as much as you can of each lesson and don't try to absorb the whole program at one time or you will feel overwhelmed. Okay, 
you know and I know you can do it. It's okay to browse through the program if you need to, but don't analyze what's in the program. Instead, follow the step-by-step -step directions on the tapes and in the workbook, and you're going to see powerful changes in your life. We're here for you, but realize, even with the best possible support team, you have to do the work. Doing your part means going through each lesson and working through the workbook every week and letting the program do its job. And believe me, if you do the work, it will work for you. So I'd like to welcome you to this wonderful program. And I hope these skills change your life as much as they've changed mine. Because from here on out, it's you and me against them. Everybody here at the Midwest Center and you versus all these scary thoughts and panic attacks, feelings of depression and disoriented feelings. Because together as a team, we can break through the barriers of fear and what if thinking and live a life full of success and confidence and peace of mind the way life's supposed to be lived. Okay, my pep talk's over right now. Here are the five essential ways to feel better fast. Now I want you to get started in the program the most effective way possible. Each one will help you feel better fast, but all of them together can't do what this incredible program's designed to do as a whole. You'll also hear people address each topic and how going through the program personally affected each one of them in a very special and positive way. I can't stress this enough. You simply must use the entire program to gain control of your life, overcome your anxiety and depression, and realize your dreams. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. I didn't know what was wrong with me, but I thought, uh, you know, it felt like I was like losing control. I never understood what was going on, so I couldn't really tell anybody about it. I was in a complete state of confusion. I didn't know where it came from. It just, um, one day, uh, I just started feeling anxious, and I felt uncomfortable, and I didn't know what it was. When I had these attacks, I felt very, like, is anybody else out there like this? I mean, am I going crazy? I felt hopeless, like there was nothing else that I could do. And I wanted to do something, but I didn't know what. I kept wondering, what is this that's, that's causing this? And I could not figure out for the life of me uh, what was going on. Now, the first one is the easiest and in some ways the hardest. Face the fact that this program didn't arrive on its own. It didn't just end up on your doorstep, I don't think, without you knowing about it. You realize and recognize that you actually do have a problem with anxiety and possibly depression. You know, most people don't even recognize that their problem is anxiety and or depression. The list of symptoms that comes as a result of anxiety and depression are endless. You've heard just a few of them here on this tape. I think what's primarily important in, uh, in understanding and, and coping with anxiety is education. People need to learn the skills to, um, to help control their anxiety levels so that they can face the fears they have and move forward. There are three critical areas required in dealing with anxiety. The first is understanding the condition itself. The second is gaining the skills and utilizing the educational materials available in coping with anxiety and overcoming it. And the third is facing your fears and moving forward. Anxiety is an enemy that likes to hide in the background and rob you of your precious present moment. Everybody has it to some level, so you're not alone. Another thing you need to do is stop asking yourself, why? Like, why do I have this? Why me? And where did this come from? This is just another powerful, procrastinating stall tactic that anxiety uses to keep you from moving ahead in your life. Anxiety also tells you to watch your favorite television show instead of listening to your relaxation tape that you know will help you relax. It makes you procrastinate when you should be moving ahead with your task list. And that, in turn, makes you swell with negative self-talk and what-if thinking. So by recognizing that anxiety truly exists in your life and that it's your enemy, you'll be well on your way to recovery. Next, you must believe that with our program, you can really overcome your anxiety. Logic dictates that if hundreds of thousands of others have done it already, you can too. So you really need to believe that you can recover. I think the program worked for me when other things didn't because it teaches you how to use yourself as the tool. And that's really the key. I had the epiphany that said, uh, who are you, Chris? And I started trying to find an answer for that. Definitely a more positive, more happy person. As I went through the program, um, it was the only thing that ever led me to understand in my own words what was going on with me. Finally, I, I could tell that I wasn't going crazy. I wasn't losing my mind. Um, I had anxiety. These tapes have been just, just wonderful. My aunt ordered me the program, 
and I, within five minutes of receiving it, and I'm not even kidding, I, it had answered everything for me. You can get better, and you, you learn how to treat yourself better. You deserve to feel better, but anxiety wants you to fail by creating a self-fulfilling prophecy with negative self-talk that says you either don't deserve to get better or you can't succeed. But guess what? You can, and the time to do it is right now. You have the power to win this battle in your hands with this powerful attacking anxiety and depression program. I always had a chronic low level anxious feeling inside of me and then it would it would escalate into these gripping panic attacks where I, I couldn't breathe and my hands would sweat and my heart would pound. Other panic attacks started uh, coming and they never stopped. When I had panic attacks my body became numb, I had chest pains, I couldn't walk because my legs became stiff. I had daily panic attacks, uh, high extreme anxiety, I just couldn't live my life you know, that way. I didn't feel and, and I didn't live a very good life for 20 years. I had an anxiety attack. I didn't know what that was. It scared me and afterwards even my husband and I just curled up in his lap and he was just like, you know, both of us, neither one of us knew what had just happened and we were just really afraid. Now some of you who've received this program may think you've never had a panic attack and maybe this session won't apply to you, but you're wrong. I believe that almost everyone has had a panic attack and the following information is great to know in case you ever feel a panic attack coming on. If that happens, you'll be so glad you have these great tips. Let's first look at what a panic attack is. The cause, the exact cause of panic and anxiety are not known. Um, panic attacks don't have any long-term damage on the human body. Uh, the effects are short-lived, they're temporary. Uh, people recover completely from an anxiety or a panic attack, of course, until they have the next one. Now, have you ever been watching television or sitting at a stoplight in a traffic jam? Or maybe you've been at a sporting event or a family gathering or in church, and this overwhelming sensation comes over you that you can't quite put your finger on, but you know you want it to go away right now. You may have felt like you couldn't breathe, or you were hyperventilating or breaking out in a sweat, and your heart starts pounding and racing really fast. It may have made you feel like you needed to run, or you needed to find a safe place, or someone you considered to be a safe person person, well that is a panic attack. Just about everybody has suffered with some form of panic attack in their lifetime. Panic attacks can range from light symptoms like dizziness or feeling lightheaded, all the way to intense panic feelings where you feel that you might even die or go crazy. Your anxiety can actually begin to make you accept this as a way of life, but don't. In lesson two, you're gonna learn all about panic attacks and how to deal with them and that adrenaline response for good. Here are some quick tips to help you handle them right now. Remember, the key is you are your own safe person. And by recognizing that you are having a panic attack and using what you learned from the program along with these great tips, dealing with it will be a breeze. You can say these things out loud to yourself or with your inner voice, but you must say them. You can't simply just think them. They're powerful words that will help you feel better fast. Number one, don't run from the panic. Accept it. It's okay to be anxious. Number two, what's really bothering me and how does it measure up in the importance of the big scheme of my life? Number three, repeat to yourself, this will pass. It always passes. I'm not in any real danger. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna have a heart attack. Now breathe slowly through your nose and deeply. Try to relax and realize that it will pass. Number four, distract yourself. Get into the moment. What's going on around you? Play music, clean the house, exercise, or read. If you follow these simple guidelines, you'll feel better the next time an anxious moment tries to sneak up on you and take control. Don't forget that Lesson 2 in the workbook contains a wealth of information that will give you the tools to conquer panic attacks and even stop them dead in their tracks before they can roll out of control. Now that's the kind of control you want to have, right? Tape number two that dealt with the panic attack. I knew I was on a road to recovery as soon as I finished that particular week. When I first listened to the tape, tape number two, um, it said that if you're not afraid of them, they won't come. I learned how to say, who cares if I have a panic attack? 
it'll go away, I'll be fine. And that's when I started to really gain control of this condition. Knowing that I can control these, and if they come on, I know how to deal with them. Once I had gotten the program, I learned that that was actually an anxiety attack that I had. And it was, like, thankfully, the only one I ever had since I, you know, been using my tools. I feel like I'm free now. I feel like I'm free. <laughs> yeah, I can just see this tape. <laughs> Here's Joey I'm probably right now I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> safe place, safe place, safe place, safe place, safe place. <laughs> You're going to use that, aren't you? I remember I weighed 289 pounds. Uh, I wore sweat clothes all the time. I was using food to, to, to calm myself down. I wasn't feeling as good as other people. And of course, I didn't exercise, so I was, I was not working up to my full potential. Feelings building up. I could feel the cravings starting. And then that would be about a week before it would happen. Then during the week, I would just be eating out of control. And I once counted the calories. I stopped counting at about 3,000. I thought I was having caffeine withdrawals because I had just quit caffeine, so I loaded myself up with caffeine, uh, hoping that that would make it all go away. I was like the fattest kid in school. I was always very compulsive eating, or I, I never went to an Overeaters Anonymous thing, but I know eating was a way of me you know, pacifying myself. Regardless of the level of anxiety you're experiencing, changing certain lifestyle habits can dramatically improve your emotional well-being. Now to win this fight against anxiety and depression, you have to take care of yourself with healthier life habits. Let's start with what you put into your body. If you're pouring sugar water into the gas tank of your car, what happens? Well, the engine will die and you'll go nowhere. But if you take it to the gas station and you put premium gas in the tank, your car is going to run like a top. Well, our bodies act the same way. You'll find Lesson 5 very exciting as we deal extensively with the topic of healthy lifestyle and the important role it plays with dealing with your anxiety and depression. Following these guidelines in this chapter will give your body the strength and energy it needs to carry you through this program and prepare you for a life truly worth living. Now here are some essential ways to feel better through diet, good health, and exercise. I call this section, Back Off and Move Forward. Begin to back off caffeine. Why? Because stimulants activate stress hormones, and that would be soda, coffee, and you guessed it, all the good stuff, chocolate, anything that has caffeine in it. But don't quit cold turkey. Try decreasing caffeine by a quarter each week. Off all caffeine in a month. You can do it. Next, work on cutting back on sugar and simple carbohydrates like chips and donuts. These foods feed your anxiety and make it stronger, and they make you gain weight. They don't nourish you. They instead make you weak and anxious so that anxiety can win again. Certain foods are absolutely off the list when it comes to anxiety, uh, first and foremost of which is caffeine. Uh, has a terrible effect on people with anxiety. I really don't know anyone who can handle caffeine who has anxiety problems because it always makes anxiety worse. It also leads to sleep disturbance, which then of course leads to fatigue, which then of course makes you more susceptible to anxiety that way. So even if the caffeine is out of your system, the effects of it linger from day to day to day. Other foods which would be uh, also bad for people with anxiety uh, would, would be uh, sweets, sugar especially, is bad because it causes fluctuations in your glucose level, which then causes fluctuations in your body's uh, production of adrenaline, which is the hormone that, uh, that causes us to get very anxious and shaky when that happens. And there's a, an underlying regulatory mechanism that, that occurs, um, and there's a reason for that that we don't need to go into now. But two absolute rules of thumb would be to stay off of uh, caffeine and sugar. Now move forward with exercise. Exercise every day. Start with a few minutes the first day and add a minute to your routine each day for a month. By the end of the month, you'll be taking 30 or more minutes a day to get healthy. Increased blood flow means stronger muscles and a healthier body inside and out, better lung capacity, and your body will heal itself at a much quicker rate because of your increased metabolism. Exercise is crucial um, because exercise uh, affects virtually every uh, aspect of your overall health. And when y you're not exercising, um, your body doesn't clear toxins as quickly, you don't process oxygen as readily, uh, you don't sleep as well, um, your metabolism slows down, and so exercise is critical to overall good health. And anything that you can do to make your body stronger and, uh, and function at a higher level will help you cope with anxiety uh, 
uh, on an easier level. Um, you won't become as fatigued, which in turn won't lead to more anxiety. Uh, you won't uh, become um, uh, depressed as easily. Um, and, and it's simply, you, you feel better. And when you feel better, everything works better. Another thing, I can't tell you how important it is to drink lots and lots of water until you think you're going to float away. You don't have to run a marathon or look like Muscle Beach to be healthy, but you do have to exercise and start to work on what you put into your body to stay healthy and have less anxiety and depression. In Lesson 5, you'll find many answers to your questions on personal health and how it affects your anxiety and depression. You'll learn which foods uplift you and which foods can actually harm you and which foods can actually calm you. If you suffer from irritable bowel syndrome, there's important information for you as well. There are also helpful tips on how to get started and succeed in exercise and how certain vitamins can go a long way to make you feel not only healthier, but to make you feel less anxious and less depressed as well. Remember, garbage in, you're going to get garbage out. Eating healthy is one of the main things, one of the biggest things has helped me. We started getting into a exercise routine, which you recommended highly, and it did work. I lost 15 pounds. I, I used to consume a lot of sugar, and now I've cut back on a lot of sugar because I didn't know that your diet could also attribute to your anxiety. Regular exercise is, is so life-changing. My boss also lost 50 pounds. It gives, me, it gives me an even more ambition. Since I started the program, um, my blood pressure has gone down and I'm off my blood pressure medication. The doctor thinks it's probably due to the exercise. I knew that it was true that I needed to be positive, but I never really knew how to change my negative thoughts into positive. If anybody asked me if I thought I was a negative thinker or if I was an anxious worrier or something like that, I probably would say, oh no, no, I'm, I'm really upbeat, I'm really positive. I thought everybody else in the world was sure of themselves. Everybody else had self-esteem. I was the only one that didn't. I had no confidence, no self-esteem. Um, I just got through the day just by plugging through. All my thoughts were all doom and gloom and negative. What if, what if this? My big what if thought was what if I really went crazy and ended up in a mental institution? What if I go crazy? What if I embarrass myself? Uh, what if I have a heart attack? What if I lose control at work? I thought I was falling apart. Okay, this is where anxiety lives and breathes. Scary thoughts. I'm not good enough. I just can't cope. What if I can't get it done? I'm too tired. I'm worried. These negative thoughts can eventually lead to depression, even if all you started out with is anxiety. But you can win this one. The most important thing here is to recognize how these negative thoughts are affecting your life. Some of you may try to ignore them. Maybe they'll go away, but they're still there. They may even hide in your subconscious and can have a serious impact on your emotional well-being. You need to recognize and listen to these negative thoughts and what-if thinking and learn to replace them with positive affirmation and comforting thoughts. What you say to yourself makes all the difference. You know, all day long we talk to ourselves. Um, you know, 99% of what goes on in our life happens inside our brain and only 1% of it happens outside our brain. Most of the conversations we have every day occur with ourselves and it's directly related to how we feel about ourselves. So you can choose to be good to yourself or you can choose to be bad to yourself. And of course, we're going to teach you um, overwhelmingly how to be good to yourself. Just going through this program in its entirety will give you the tools to take all that negativity and turn it into powerful, positive energy, energy that can change your life. In Lesson 3, there are numerous examples of positive personal dialogue that you can have with yourself to combat these negative thoughts, as well as many lines of positive affirmation. Each thought has a life of its own. Each thought we think carries feelings that can trigger chemical responses in our bodies that can make us anxious, depressed, or happy and confident. Most of you have had so many negative responses for so long, uh, you might not know a positive response if it came and hit you in the head. And in fact, we'll take practice over and over and over to develop techniques for producing positive responses in your brain. As you change the bad habit of a negative thought process into a positive one, every single stage of this condition will be easier to tame and get rid of. Now take these next positive self-talk phrases and use them where the negative thoughts live and fester in your mind. Number one, when what if thoughts come knocking, answer back, so what if? My life is mine and I'm doing just fine. 
That's right, say it out loud so that you can hear yourself. Say it until you actually believe it and mean it. Number two, no matter what today brings, I'll feel better tomorrow. I'm strong and I'm okay today. Repeat as necessary. Number three, is it really a life or death issue? No. Well, then it's not that big of a deal and it will take care of itself eventually. Most things do. Not many of the things that we fret over are really that do or die important, are they? You're the boss, so take control of these negative thoughts right now. Number four, when I'm anxious, it's happening in the moment. I'll just write it out and it will go away. Go with the flow with this one and smile to yourself as those anxious feelings just start to drift away. And number five, I'm worthy of respect. I don't have to do things to get love. Now this one's the truth, and it's time you face the fact that you're an important, special person, regardless of what anyone else, including yourself, thinks. The positive thinking, the positive thoughts, that, that's amazing how that really, really works. It's made a big difference in how I approach life, how I think about things. Everything's more upbeat, more positive. The negative obsessiveness that I had is replaced with positive, not obsessiveness. I have so much more self-esteem now. I'm happier. I've learned that you can have fear, and it's okay. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to go crazy, and I'm going to be okay. The positive self-talk is the main thing that's made a difference for me. I mean, I have a tremendous amount of confidence compared to what, what I ever did. It's a wonderful feeling to know that you feel good about yourself, you feel good about your skills, about being a parent, about being a wife, and about being a fellow person. I learned how to be a positive thinker. I did not realize how negative I was until I went through this program. I am a new person, I'm a changed person, and it's just given me more confidence. It's um, allowed me to do some things that I didn't think maybe I had the confidence to do before. It just has, it has completely changed my life. My friends and family members would say to me, oh, you are, you know, you're so good with your kids and you're so laid back and you seem so relaxed and nothing seems to get to you. And yet when they weren't there, um, it was a different story. I just remember wanting to get out of my skin and just run away. I couldn't relax and do anything. I had so much anxiety and pain in my chest that I could barely breathe. I mean, I could never take a deep breath in my chest. It was just so constricted and painful. Physically, the stress I was under and the emotional uh, toll that I was under was starting to have a physical pull on my body. I went to a counselor and uh, he told me I was having an anxiety attack and told me I needed to learn to relax. Well, we've all heard the saying, just relax. And it sounds so easy, but to many people, including myself, it's tougher than you think. Our minds are conditioned to be busy and stay busy. It's hard doing one thing while processing thoughts for two or three other tasks, not to mention all of the negative thoughts that permeate and try to control our minds constantly. The relaxation tape provided with this program is a really powerful tool that will help you relax. All you have to do is listen to it. Many people listen to it three times a day to start out and work toward twice a day and then eventually cut down to once a day. One thing's for sure, of the thousands and thousands of letters that we receive every year proclaiming this program as a true lifesaver, most people love the relaxation tape. It's the first and best step you can take to relax. When you're relaxed, it's kind of hard to be anxious. You deserve a break every now and then, and that includes taking the time out from trying to please the entire world in an effort to spend some personal time on yourself relaxing. The relaxation tape is the single most important feature of this program. People who are anxious have a very difficult time relaxing doing anything else. They may think they're relaxing, but they're not. They're just working themselves up, watching TV or cleaning the house, or oftentimes even playing with their family or children. So in listening to this tape, you accomplish several things. Primarily, you lay down a, uh, a neural pathway in your brain that actually supports relaxation. You will then be able to recall this feeling of relaxation when you need it. Um, and, and there'll be a lot of times when you need it, and it, it's, it'll be there for you. It'll be a device, a technique you can use when you're anxious that's stored in the recesses of your brain that you can pull out and use to calm yourself down. The relaxation tape is the most wonderful tape. It helped me so much, the relaxation tape. 
that came with the program. We use it daily still. Every day. It, it's a wonderful, wonderful tape. Lucinda has the most soothing voice. Um, and it's just relaxing. It's totally relaxing. She gave me permission to kind of let loose and relax. I think the relaxation tape comes into play a lot with that because I automatically just relax. The, the relaxation tape is great. I love the relaxation tape. I'm happy to share these five essential ways to feel better fast with you right now. Trust me, these tips will help you to feel better. But by using the program as a whole, as directed, you'll regain your life, and that's a beautiful thing. Here is a simple scenario for your consideration. We need to build a bridge on which you can travel safely from the bondage of anxiety to freedom from it. Your bridge needs to have a foundation that's strong enough to support you as you free yourself from anxiety, panic attacks, and even depression. The blueprint for your bridge is within the structure of working with this program and the workbook. The workbook is critical. You know, this is a learning process. This is not psychoanalysis. This is not somebody um, free associating uh, on a couch. This is a planned, organized program which requires your full participation. Sometimes when people um, seek psychological help, it's easy to talk back and forth with someone. And sometimes talk is cheap and it, it doesn't affect people in a, in, a, in, a, in a very dramatic way because they forget because there's so much stress involved simply in the conversation but when you have a, uh, a booklet in front of you with papers on it and a homework assignment to do you're much more likely to focus down and remember and put into practice the things you, you utilize in your homework each chapter and every accompanying tape will provide you the building blocks to form your strong bridge the kind you will need to carry you away from your enemy and on through your journey of life leaving any part out or not building the bridge in the order it was meant to be built could jeopardize your success and your bridge may crumble the tools are now right in your hands now's the time to build the bridge to your future believe me when i say you can do this this program will empower you when you've completed it you will pretty much be an expert on anxiety and panic disorder and be able to help family members or friends build their own bridge to freedom please refer back to this tape or the accompanying flashcards whenever you want to feel better fast. Remember this, you're strong, you can do it, and the key to a great life is sitting right here in your hands. Okay, I'd like you to pause this tape and go get your program. Once you have the program laid out in front of you, hit play, as I'd like to walk you through this program and explain the function and how to use the program as a whole. in front of you right now, and this is exciting, is one of the most powerful programs, I think, on the planet for anxiety and depression. So go ahead and open up the tape holder, and let's take a look at what you've got. As you can see, there are 16 audio cassettes in their holders. There's one relaxation tape and 15 lesson tapes that coincide with each weekly exercise in the workbook. And oh, by the way, the relaxation tape is fabulous, so listen to it daily. You'll be really glad you did. There are also 15 little blue carry-on cards that also correspond with the weekly lessons. They're loaded with tips and positive self-talk. Trust me, self-talk is a lifesaver for people with anxiety and depression. Use these reference cards throughout the day to keep yourself in tune with each lesson's goals. You'll see how the whole program is designed to work together and for your benefit. And oh yes, don't forget to read all of the pages in the workbook intro before lesson one starts. They're an important key part to preparing you for this new journey. Now, open your workbook and let's begin the journey that could change your life forever. It was just like a whole life change for me. It uh, made a big difference. Believe me, I have never had so much faith in something ever. It will really and truly change your life. You know, I don't think I would be here today uh, if it wasn't for uh, a lot of the things that she, a lot of the skills she's given me. This program works, and it is simple to go through. It is enjoyable to go through. I just felt so connected with Lucinda right away, just from the minute I saw the introductory tape. I just thought, oh my gosh, this woman, no way has she gone through this. She's so professional, she's so outgoing and just wonderful, but she knows what she's talking about. She's been there. I can do this, and I'm going to be who I was once again. I ordered the tapes, and just from that first tape, second tape, it changed my life. It changed my life.